pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Happy Friday! Finally, the week is over! I know, thank goodness! Thanks for joining us today, Walden Grove. I'm Maya. And I'm Liam. Let's get started. <laughs> First up, we're having a bit of a drought of announcements these days. So teachers, this announcement is for you. Make sure you're adding your announcements to the Daily Bulletin section of Power School. That's right. So only three new announcements today. First up, we finally figured out when the farmer's market is happening. Southwest Foods will be hosting it. There will be several fruits and vegetables available for students to taste. It'll probably be delicious, so be there. Also, if you're interested in learning tennis or improving your skills before the spring season begins, please join Mr. Gilday on the tennis court today during lunch. Court space is limited to 16, and you should have brought your own racket. If you didn't, better luck next time. Attention Walden Grove, we are having a canned food drive for November 12th through November 25th. Bring canned foods to your homeroom class. Hey. Don't forget, that's your second period. The winning homeroom with, with the most cans will get donuts. Donuts? Yes, donuts on November yes. 27th. And here's a reminder, the National Honor Society is here for you. NHS students offer tutoring in all math and science subjects on Tuesdays right after school in the library. Come and get the help you're looking for. And Friday birthdays. Happy birthdays to Charles Dunlap, David Gruber, Sarah Kettles, Seven Marisol, Hector Nahar, and Savannah Ruiz, and Jordan Scott. And we have no Saturday birthdays, but on Sunday, Matthew Burrell, Alexander Grijalva, Yeskis Anwanaga, and Kristen Dariana will be celebrating their birthday. So happy birthday, guys. And that's it for today, Red Wolves. Teachers, upload your announcements, please. Yes. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and until you do, we're going to put in our student projects for the announcements. So roll the tape! What's up guys, I'm Jonah and this is Stuart. What's up homies? Alright, we're doing a movie review on The Magnificent Seven from 2016. Honestly, I thought it was a banger. I expected it to be a typical western, but it had a bit of humor in it, which made it really interesting. Yeah, it still had the normal conventions like horses, guns, rebels, and sheriffs, but it had its own unique features. I think it had a good message of if you put your mind and effort towards something, you can achieve it. Because towards the end, a lot of townspeople wouldn't think they'd be able to fight off Bogue's army, because they put their mind and effort towards it, and in the end, they got the job done. I take it. He will take everything we have. So you seek revenge. I seek righteousness. Speaking of that, let me tell you about the plot. So basically, a businessman, Bo, comes to a town, Rose Creek, and takes it over by killing people. Then a woman, Emma Cullen, whose husband got, got shot a group of seven rebels, and they take the town back. Oh! I would recommend this to really anybody. It has a really good plot in head. Yeah, I agree. I think you could compare this to maybe be a little bit. Just because it's like kind of a Western style with humor in it. But I think it was unique and really good. Alright, that's our movie review. I uh, hope you enjoyed the movie. See you later, dogs. Bye. That was so cool. Oh my gosh. It was. But this show is supposed to be announcements, so get yours in, please, teachers. Yes, please, teachers. Thanks for tuning in today for our daily announcements. Bye! Bye. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs>